Hi. <laughs> I'm trying to make a video, actually, before I had the camera backwards, so you were looking into the mirror. But people ask me almost every day how I keep clean. Well, you know, as a homeless person, it's not really very easy, especially in the winter time, because you have to borrow bathrooms. And, you know, some hotels have an issue with the fact that you don't have an address. So um, I'm going to show you right now how I do it. <laughs> of course, my clothes are staying on. Um, but I'm in the Matterday um, cafeteria section and I'm in the bathroom. Normally I would use the baby change room for this. And the first step, of course, you heard the water running, is to brush my teeth. So here it is. It's just a, a quick brush. <laughs> oh. There, step one, teeth clean. Very, very important for a good smile. <laughs> Hang on a minute, let me wipe this off my face because, you know, it can... <laughs> there, nice, see the smile, it makes a big difference. It's good. A good smile is good for presentation. Clean teeth is, are very important because when you talk to someone, if you're not, I'm recording, so unless you want to be on camera, you probably should use one of the toilets around the other end. I'm making a personal documentary, but you're welcome to come on. I'm just letting you know, out of courtesy, I'm recording. <laughs> so it's up to you if you want to use the toilet. I'll just let this lady know that I'm recording, out of courtesy. So if she's in the camera, then that's up to her. But this is going online, on Facebook and YouTube and everywhere else, as usual, because it's part of the anti-violence campaign. And people have asked me on a daily basis, how do you survive? Well, here it is. So step number two is we wash our face. And it's really not that hard. You know, there's, there's nothing illegal about this, by the way, guys. It's just coming to the bathroom and washing your face. So here it goes. It's just one of these. Can you see this? This is a sponge and actually this is really really good because it's a loafer so there's a bit of a scrubbing notion there and it gets rid of all the shit that you accumulate as a result of being outside and of course under all weather so here it is and the soap that i'm using i bought from the supermarket with donations it was about 99 cents but it's an olive soap so it's made out of supposedly 90% pure olive oil, which is really good for you. And of course it has to lather a little bit. So here it is, there it is. And I'm gonna actually use the scrubbing end because then it cleans my face. And here we go. Step number two, I'm scrubbing my gorgeous face. You know, because I'm just one of these people that was born gorgeous, so <laughs> I have to look after myself as much as practically possible, you know. Ah, oh, that actually feels really good. You know, that loafer, it gets the circulation going in your face, the loafer does. And the good thing about that is that it's really, really good for the conditioning of your skin. I'm using this olive oil soap because being outside 24-7 gives you really dry skin. And of course my neck is always neglected because I can never be stuffed washing my neck. So I'm trying to wash my face with my eyes shut. We're almost done. We've got one more step to do after this. And I'm going to show you how easy it is to keep clean and how cheap it is when you don't have a lot of money to throw around. So anyway... Give me a second because I can't see you guys. I've got soap everywhere. I'm about to rinse my face and then we'll do the final step. My daily beauty treatment. Almost daily. I should say almost daily. There you go. Look at that. Ah, she flew. They say Maltese. Well, that feels really good too. And then what you do is you use the sponge like that. 
which isn't supposed to have that much soap on it because now my eyes are burning, but it's all good. You know, I'm a bit of a tough nut. I can handle a bit of burn. So here we go. I'm rinsing my face because my eyes are really stinging. Okay, so there we are. Nice and gorgeous, you know. And this hairstyle, I've got to tell you guys something about this hairstyle. It's brilliant because it's very, very, very easy for the streets, you know. I mean, it's better if it was plaited, but I always run out of hair ties because they break and then I don't have any brushes to get the knots out. So, And the plaits, believe it or not, when they start fraying at the edges, do accumulate some knots. This is just as good, I think, this hairstyle. You know, it's just a bun, you can see that. It's just a, a high up ponytail. It's better if you don't have a fringe when you're outside as well. It's just a high up ponytail and there's the, with a bun. <laughs> oh, look at that, I look like I just got up. You know, I'm gorgeous when I just get up. I'm one of these people, I, I've got it, you know. <laughs> you know, my husband used to say that. He used to say, you're one of these people, you don't need makeup first thing in the morning, you know. It's like it's one of the very few nice things he used to say. When he wanted sex, that is. You know what men are like. When they want something <laughs> of course that was one of my strengths so he never missed out <laughs> but anyway jokes aside now this have a look what i'm doing first and i'll show you what it is in a minute the you have to do a circular motion i learned this in um i did modeling when i was 21 for susan johnston it was it was on contract it was very light modeling because i didn't have the height but i had a fantastic body not much different to what i have now actually but um, except it's better now because I've got a six pack. Back then I didn't have one. <laughs> but it was just for bikinis and catalogues. You don't need to be tall to do that because the camera makes you look tall. But you have to have a really nice body. And of course, everybody loved my gorgeous little ass, so it was good for modelling. Anyway, and this is what they taught me. They, of course, they took us through a deportment course because after hours you have to learn to take care of yourself. I mean, they don't, they're not responsible for maintaining you 24-7 just before, before and after shoots. Now, see what it is. Look at this. This is beautiful. See how shiny my face That's It's a bit too shiny, actually, <laughs> my face is. A bit too shiny, but that's because I really hit that loaf hard. Now, this, always when you put your, a lot of girls would know this, I would assume, always in a circular motion like this around the eye, because, girls, it's good for wrinkles. <laughs> Or, hang on, laugh lines. <laughs> They're not wrinkles. They're laugh lines. <laughs> you know, old ladies get wrinkles. I'm still a spring chicken, so they're laugh lines. <laughs> anyway. Oh, there's a kid coming in. I better warn that mother because I wouldn't want my child on someone else's YouTube video. I'm trying to warn them, but, you know, they still arrogantly walk in here. And I'm not talking about children. But, anyway. Now, this, what I was using, and you can get it from McDonald's, I think... It's 10 cents, you can get that with donations. Or, you know, the managers actually over there in St. Julian's are so far so good to me. See this? It's olive oil. I really, I swear by this, you guys. This is unbelievable. This is olive oil. Absolutely unbelievable stuff. Even if you have money, you probably should use this anyway at night as a night cream because it's really, really good. It absorbs into the skin. And when you're sleeping, it nourishes the skin too. Very good for conditioning. And then when you wake up, it's like you feel very, like a baby's bottom, you know. But I'm using this outside because it conditions my skin. And under all weather, you could imagine what I go through <laughs> with the weather. And so anyway, here we go. This is it. It's olive oil. Can you see that? Guys, get it from Macca's. <laughs> Get it from Maccas. This is one of the best products Maccas have got. You know, I mean, I, I don't like meat all that much, but when I'm hungry and they're offering burgers, I have it. Of course I do. You know, it's good. Protein is good. But this, this is unbelievable. This is really, really good stuff. I, I reckon this is one of the best products they've got. So you have to try this out. And it's just probably the size of a 10 cent Australian coin or, or maybe five cents here. And, um, you know, you just rub it in a circular motion. And then if you have home, you go to sleep, <laughs> wake up in the morning. If you don't, well, you know, you use it to roam around. And that's my documentary for the day on the hairstyle. I'm going to show you a quick, a quick hairdo. Okay, so I have no brush. So look at this. Oh, my goodness. I shouldn't be wearing this. 
my hair is unbrushed but it's okay uh, you just got to watch that you don't get nits as long as you don't get nits then it's okay yeah. but it's unbrushed now one other trick as well if you've got no brush excuse the um, hair frenzy if you've got no brush watch this guys watch this you just I'm doing a documentary so you're going to be on excuse me I'm doing a documentary you're going to be on YouTube you can you can if you want to but I'm just letting you know out of courtesy okay yeah, yeah good good cool what's your name Alexia. I'm Anne nice to meet you okay, darling Anne a documentary come say hello come say hello to my hi. viewers hi. <laughs> hi this is Alexia I've just met her but you know she's gorgeous isn't she <laughs> I'm giving them beauty trips. Tips. Yeah, let me finish this because look sure. at my hair. Like, sure. you know. Yeah, nice to meet you. Where's that accent from? I'm from Wonsa. Oh, lovely. It's really nice to meet you. I'll have to give you the link now so you sure. can watch yourself sure. online. <laughs> so that's, this is Alexia, guys. Anyway, so this is a really quick hairstyle of how to look after yourself when you're outside. Now, you see what I've done with my hair. I have quickly just, with my fingers, a hairdresser told me to do this. Um, some months ago, she said, if you haven't got a brush, because, you know, not all of us have a brush, believe it or not, you just put a little bit of olive oil. And she didn't say the olive oil, sorry, that's my invention. But she said, run your fingers through your hair on a daily basis. So I'm using this oil. So can you see this? It's oil. That's what I'm doing. I'm putting oil through my hair. Now, I shower once every 12 months. <laughs> Probably shouldn't admit that, but I do because of income and, and circumstances. Now, when I go in the shower, even if it is once every 12 months, the oil is just the best conditioner in the world. This olive oil I'm talking, don't use any oil, just use olive oil. And anyway, you see what I'm doing with the olive oil? So, this is really, really, this olive oil, I swear by it, my goodness, you can eat it, you can put it on your face, and you can put it through your hair. You know, this is one thing the Europeans have got in the right place. <laughs> the olive oil, I love this product, it's my favourite. So here we go, and then just a quick hairstyle for survival. This is a hair, uh, survival hairstyle. <laughs> She's laughing at me on next series. She's gorgeous, by the way. <laughs> so here we go, and nice and tight. And then, you know, to give the the kind of look at that the flower effect because I like flowers on my hair. See, see, it's simple. So thanks for watching. This is Voice Box Malta. We're hoping to hit the streets soon with over 5,000 women campaigning against um, violence against women. I'd love you all to participate. We need 20,000 guys. We've only got five. So register and I'll give the notices in a few months. Well, I hope in a few months, but I'm looking to hit the 20,000 mark before I take the streets. And um, any questions, I'm available on chatterboxpress.wix.com backslash voicebox. So thanks for watching. Bye for now. Ha, 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 ha.